Hey everyone, so I wanted to um, do a video um, going along with the picture of my hair that I posted this morning um, because I did try some products that were um, new to me and so I just wanted to uh, say what I thought about them. So um, my hair now is completely dry. Um, I always plop it overnight and um, I took it down at about 8 this morning. Uh, it's now about 3.30 in the afternoon and so this is the result. Um, this part always falls in my eye so I try to move it. Um, but um, the first thing that I used last night was this Hennessy, don't know if you can see it, uh, Hennessy Clarifying Shampoo. And I, the first thing I noticed was that it was really such, um, it was a lot of um, lather when I was rubbing it through my hair and I didn't like it at all. Um, it just felt it just felt like it was too much like I was like I had just put a whole bunch of soap in my hair and so I looked at the ingredients right after I did it and saw that it has sodium lauryl sulfate in it um, which I was really disappointed about because I've been sulfate free for over two years and now I feel like my streak is broken um, so I definitely won't be using this again. Um, this was my first time using a, uh, this was my first time using a, 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 a clarifying shampoo in general. Um, so I really don't know how they're supposed to feel. Um, the next thing I used was coconut curls conditioner and I've used the regular coconut milk conditioner in this brand and I really like it um I didn't even know they had a curls until the other day when I was at Walmart and I thought oh let me try it out because um I like the um I like the organics line um I used the shampoo so I figured I couldn't go wrong with the conditioner so I used the conditioner um this one and I also tried to use it as a detangler. Um, it was okay. The slip was okay. Um, I was able to detangle, um, but I've used better um, conditioners that also work as detanglers. But um, I'll keep using it and buying it again. Um, it wasn't that bad. Um, the next thing I used for my leave-in conditioner was... Suave Naturals Tropical Coconut Conditioner, and I've been using this off and on for a few months. Um, I like it because the bottle is really big. Um, I'm not even halfway through. Um, I can find it anywhere. I found this at Walmart, and I think it's only like a dollar and something or two dollars. Um, and like it says, it is natural. Um, I was using this as a detangler because it has great slip um, and makes detangling my hair really easy. Um, and as a leave-in, I found out that it works pretty well too. Um, so this is always one of like my staple products that I always use. Uh, using it as a leave-in was just what was new for me. And for moisturizer, I used Hawaiian Silky do any way you want and I like the Hawaiian Silky 14 and 1 that's another thing that I use all the time so I just figured that I would like this too and as far as the moisturizing um, it's great um, it also says softens and detangles um, which I think is true because my hair is like super super soft um, that could also be because of the suave, because the suave makes my hair super soft too, um, even when I've rinsed it out. The only thing I didn't like about this was the smell. Um, I didn't smell it before I bought it. I just assumed that it would smell good, like the 14-in-1. 
So I'm in the shower. I put a little bit in my hand and it has to me an overpowering smell of a medicine, like some kind of nasty, um, cherry medicine that I hated. Um, but luckily the smell did go away because I woke up this morning and I couldn't smell it anymore. And my hair did feel very moisturized. Um, the moisture has kept throughout the day. So um, I'm happy with it. I'll just know that it stinks, but it'll all be fine. And the last thing that I used was, um, shoot, I don't have it in here, but it's Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Gel. Um, I used to use it often because I found it at Walmart and then I couldn't find it for a long time. So I thought they discontinued it. Um, but I found it yesterday at CVS. So I was really excited. And with the Garnier Pure Clean Gel, what I do is, um, after I've taken my t-shirt off my head, I'll section my hair and put like a very small amount of gel in and just like run it through and it helps hold my curls and it doesn't, unless you use too much, it won't leave your hair crunchy. Um, I did get a little heavy handed in like two random spots. So I do have like two crunchy pieces, but for the most part, um, my hair isn't crunchy. Um, held up all day. I have like mad crazy hair in the front. Um... But yeah, so I was really happy because my hair held up all day. Um, I was in the heat today. I was in the wind, uh, about to go back into the heat. Um, and another thing that I like about the gel is I think using the gel is the only time I've ever been able to get good second day hair. Um, from what I remember, I think all I have to do is just, um, I always pineapple my hair at night. And then the next morning, um, when I use the gel, I think all I have to do is just spritz like a little bit of water and the curls, um, are replenished. I don't think I had to add anything extra, but, um, that is all I wanted to say and wanted you to kind of get a good look at like the texture of my hair. It's a really crazy texture. This part like never curls at all. I put like the most stuff under here and it still does nothing. But um hope you enjoyed this and um it'd be cool if you guys made videos too. Uh I would like to see what you use cuz I'm always looking for new things to try. So, bye.